Last year, the Department of Environment started the revision and updating of the draft National Contingency Oil Spill Plan that was developed in 2008. What happened during the first phase of that was stakeholder meetings with first responders and on-scene companions. Before we moved into, sorry, the first phase, before we moved into second phase, the overall recommendation from all the participants, whether government or private sector, was we need capacity building, first for the ability to respond, because as usual with many agencies, people cycle out, they leave, so the trained personnel are gone. And two, we need capacity building to fill in the identified gaps within the oil spill contingency plan. DOE took this recommendation to heart because we want stakeholder ownership of the document. And so we paused the updating process and began to do capacity building both within our department on new techniques as well as within the stakeholders. Last year, December, we had workshop one, which was first, command, first, first responders and on-scene commanders. Today we have workshop two, NGO and media. For the next two days, Thursday and Friday, we will have workshop three, which is geared towards senior managers and decision makers. Basically the policy maker people at the higher government and private sector level who will be making some of these decisions so that they understand what is required to develop this document, what they need to do to participate, and we intend their support in doing the activity. Each workshop has been geared to our audiences. December was boots on the ground. We even had a simulation exercise. They toured. These are the people who physically will be doing the work. Today, it's for the NGOs and media, so you understand how best to communicate with the public and what it is you need to do in the event of these activities, because obviously, you're not going to be responders. And tomorrow, it's for the senior managers and decision makers, so they can determine, okay, what decisions need to be made, look at the gaps that we need to do to update the policy, and what it is that we need to do as a country to move forward to have an approved national contingency plan.